Hi guys, welcome to part two of the budget-friendly nail video that I previously filmed. And I'm going to be doing designs on the right hand now. So here I have some fun nail art to play with. So stick around and see what I come up with. I found um, in my collection these really pretty shells. And I thought those would be really fun to add to this um, nautical sea ocean nail design that I came up with. Um, for those of you who did not see my other video, definitely go check that out. Um, but just a quick preview of what I did on that video. Um, you can see here the designs that I came up with. So very much an ocean theme. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I also found these stickers in my collection and um, they are from Maniology and I will link these down below. Um, I did grab them when they're on sale. Whatever you guys have in stock for stickers, um, you know, some of these stickers I got, I think a long time ago at even maybe the Dollar General. Um, I think this is one of them. So, you know, don't be discouraged if you, you know, don't have some of these items. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. Like I said, these, these, um, nails were from the dollar store, the dollar tree. So, and they only cost a dollar, obviously. Um, and then you can just add some fun things like stickers and whatnot and just spice them up a little bit. So anyway, let's get these stickers out. So the first one that caught my eye was, um, this design right here. And I was thinking of maybe putting it on the thumbnail. And I thought that would be really cute to stick on the thumb. So, um, I already sized out my, um, the size for my fingers. They only had 12 nails in the set. So you only had two extra, so not a whole lot of room. And these two that I have left over were the smallest pair. Um, they just didn't quite fit across my whole pinky, so I didn't want a lot of extra room. So if anything, I might have to shave down a little bit of the sides, but um, it's hard to kind of measure when I have my poly gel set on. Um, so I'm just kind of winging it as far as the sizing goes. So I'm just going to take the thumbnail and center the sticker and it is hard because the curve of the nail to get it really to stick down I do have a little bit of bubbling here um, but what you can do is take some scissors and snip it so that it lays um, a little more flat onto the nail To lay as flat as I could there is a little bit um, you can kind of see where I cut it but um, I'm hoping when I put the top coat on that that kind of hides it a little bit but I think that's pretty good for this first nail so while I have it kind of stuck where I want it I am gonna just quickly go ahead and do a top coat and um, I'm using the top it off gel top coat from Beatles gel polish and I'm just going to put that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds to cure it. So while I have the thumb uh, curing in the lamp, I'm going to move on to the pointer finger. And I wanted to, I was thinking of doing um, the seashell on the pointer finger like that and maybe adding a few rhinestones. Um, so I think what I want to do is add some top gel and place it in there to hold it. And then place some rhinestones around it um, and then cure the nail so they Where stay. I want my seashell to go and if you don't have top gel coat or um, gel polish you can use glue if you have nail glue or super glue. Trying to get that as centered as possible. Okay. Now, um, I think I want to use some of these gems. Um, at either the 
dark blue or the light blue gems here. I think I'm going to go with the light gems. I'm just going to kind of wing the design. I'm not really sure where I want to place these, but I'm going to put some more top gel coat um, where I think I'm going to want them. Start there. And these gems are really tiny and flat, so they're really nice to work with. Um, and these are from Maniology. I'll make sure to link them below. gonna kind of paint all over because I'm just gonna hope that this is the one and only top coat uh, for this nail that I'm gonna do. Alright, so now for the middle fingernail. I was looking at um, these stickers and I see these little bubbles all over um, so I think I'm going to do different size bubbles on this nail kind of matches the shape of the nail and just lay that on there nice and flat bubbly wavy nail so I'm gonna put my top coat on and be right back okay so while that nail is in the lamp uh, we're gonna move on to the ring finger and I wanted to carry over the idea um, that I did on the other hand with the gold nail foil um, I kind of used it like as if it was sand at the bottom of the ocean or leading up to the ocean um but I think I'm going to just do like a scattered look we'll see how this goes um and just kind of put foil glue all over the nail in random spots and then just put the foil down and see where it sticks so we'll go ahead and apply the foil glue and this is from Maniology and so far I'm liking how this is working um works pretty well. So you can kind of see the wet spots where the glue is. Um, so we'll go ahead and we need to let that dry. Um, once it's transparent, they say that's when it's dry enough for me to apply the foil. So I'll go ahead and set that aside and let that dry and move on to the pinky. So I want to tie in a little bit of the orange that I did on the other set of nails. You can see I have the orange on the pointer finger and on the middle finger here. Kind of like that shell, it has a lot of color in it. Um, I think I'll just kind of do a random mosh podge of shells. So we have now incorporated the red, like we have on the other set. I think I'll leave that nail alone and now we can go back to the ring finger and see if our foil will stick. So if you haven't seen my part one to this video, this is the foil that I used in that video for the other nails. And it's very thin very fragile and you kind of have to just like rip it off so I'm gonna see what it 
comes out to look like, but I'm just laying it on there and gently tapping it. Up some more, trying hard not to get it too wrinkled. I want I want the leaf to um, the gold leaf to look flat as flat as possible. So now I'm just taking a fan brush to see if any loose gold leaf brushes off. That is the finished product. Um, I think I do want to add something to this nail. I think in some of these spaces here I might want to add some of these gold um, diamond shaped gems. Let's see what one looks like there. I'm just going to apply a top coat over the whole nail because I will be curing it afterwards anyways. I just want to see what a gem will look like in those other spots. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and put some top gel coat all over the um, pinky nail over here. And this is the final product, the left hand, and this is the right hand. I mean, you can change it up or vice versa, but I'm happy with the outcome. And it was a lot of fun to design and uh, create these custom dollar store nails. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like these types of videos. Let me know if you guys liked it or what else you'd like to see me do. Um, it really helps me understand what you guys want to see and I do have another set of dollar store nails If you'd like to see me do another set, uh, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye